Yo, what's up? My name is Alex, and uh, today we're going to talk about how to find the root notes of a sample. So, I went on Looperman and I found a sample uh, which is called Palace Type Loop Timeless. And basically, what I'm going to show you today is how to, well, find the root notes. First of all, you can listen to a sample. And there are a few ways that you can do this. The more skilled people uh, who've been doing this for a long time will tell you to turn up the root note, turn up the notes on the, your 808 to make sure that you can hear, you know, the really high frequency so you can make sure you hit it correctly. And then they do it like this. But you see the problem with this is it can be kind of complicated if you're really new. So I, I found a way, way, way simpler way of doing this, which is basically what you're going to do is that you're going to go into the sample and you're going to take the part that you want to use and you're going to press make unique and press enter. This will make a copy of it. Uh, usually it will also make it a different color. Uh, and then you're going to turn down the pitch all the way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your mixer where you have it. And you're going to turn on uh, the ones that you're going to use. And then you're going to go into filter, love filter, uh, which comes with uh, the producer bundle. Uh, and then you're going to turn Put two of them on and turn the cut down completely, which isolates the low frequencies. You can also do this with an EQ, but I just find this to be the most simple way. And you can press recording in Edison once you make sure you know where it is, uh, which for me is under miscellaneous right here. And then you press play. And then once you find that, and then what I do so I usually just delete this off the entire thing so I don't have to look at it because it can be fucking annoying to look at sometimes. And you're going to take the loop, put it back in, cut out the part that you want to use, and boom. Now you basically have your root notes done. Then you're going to check to see the pitches, which are right here laid out for me. Uh, and then what you're going to do is basically just go in here. Go up here in this thing that looks like a wrench, and then you're going to go under Analysis and Convert to Score and Dump into Piano Roll uh, while having the bass selected. Uh, right now I have that selected, which doesn't really matter. You can have the bass selected or not, and then you're going to go into here, find what 808 you're going to use, pull it all the way up here to where you can actually hear the sound, and then you're going to turn it all the way up to make sure and you're going to press Control q to quantize it, and then you're going to put in the pattern that you want. Now usually I'd say, okay, let's have it be the co complete original bass notes, but I don't want this to be all the way up in the beginning. I want this to be lower down. Moving in the beginning, you just gotta make sure that it sounds good, which it does, and then you're gonna pull it down. And the problem with this is, and also by listening my ears, is that sometimes you feel like it could sound different. Uh, and I like this version better, where it goes E, E, and then D sh uh, sharp flat. And then when you have that, you can add your little spice. Uh, I want to do it like this. Go up here, boom. some rhythm in your and then in an homage to Rip Too Hard, we're gonna do this real quick, which adds and then with the kick, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna press, go in here, the way I select all is control A and then you press control C. Then you empty, go out of it by pressing escape and press control V in here. Then you can either use the command or just pull down uh, the kick notes. 
And then something I like to do is when the bass goes really high, I like the kick going up a single semitone to keep <laughs> of rhythm and movement in it uh, and keep it a bit more harmonious, uh, you know, as a response kind of thing. <laughs> Obviously with the bass notes, another thing you could do is sample the bass notes themselves and use them as a sub bass. Now what I'm going to do is just a quick little lead in right here and then just have a very, very simple beat. Uh, which is just going to consist of this and a simple little bass, which I'm going to do by co copying this in and doing this. And we're basically done.